You know, when I sat down with Kyle looking at cinematics, the first thing we did on all of them is we sat together and we said, what was the intention? And so I was like, hey, the reason he salutes there or the reason he kind of hesitates there or the reason what we were trying to get across was this. Now's our time. And so Kyle and I went back through and found places where we can say, oh, this is more meaningful. This is more interesting. This is how we would have done it if we had the time originally. You know, our first step in the process was to sit down and watch everything and get Rod's feedback on it. And, really kind of focus on those key moments that he wanted to really, you know, nail. So what we wanted to do was work on Rom's execution of men. There's a lot that went into that moment and trying to make you hate Rom, uh, show his power, but and, and then transition the power within the squad to Marcus. On all the cinematics for this Gears game, we kind of had uh, already a template in place uh, from the original. We tried to punch up some of the sequences and storyboarding was kind of integral to that, kind of figuring out what we wanted to what we wanted to play up, when we wanted to kind of keep the same. Um, we wanted to get it a lot grittier and that was really fun as far as especially from an animation standpoint because we could really you know we, we had these big stunt guys that came in and picked each other up and stabbed and like kicked them across the room which was really fun to shoot. Um, the animators had a great time working on that as well. The death of Min was really challenging. Whenever we get an effects shot we just want to go in and blow the person apart, but of course with men we had to be restrained. We added more edits, more cuts, but tried to keep that kind of documentary handheld style, almost like an opera, like you just, it's, it's this gory scene, but it's, you want to kind of make it beautiful too. So we can get really tight on characters now. We can do full facial close-ups um, and get all the subtlety. It's a lot more believable um, and it's a lot, you know, it's definitely grounded more in reality now. So, you know, even the, the details of the wrinkles and the skin sliding over bone and all of those kind of things uh, really help to, to sell the emotion of those characters. Now when we show Marcus watching men get executed by Rom, we get right up in his face. So you can just kind of see the emotion and it's really believable. You know, when you look at Chopper Crash, the original Chopper Crash, Min spends a lot of time kind of unaware of Rom behind him. We had him like notice sooner and turn and then try to shoot and try to take on Rom and then Rom defeats him even though he's sort of bringing the attack. You know, smooth this out, but also puts more meaning into Min's death, that he actually didn't just get caught by surprise, that he actually saw the threat and attempted taking it head on, but still to no avail. We will win this war. It's only a matter of time.